Okay guys, so with this week's quick tip, my goal is to concisely cover what the difference is between a body and a component in Fusion 360. I stress concisely there, because although there are wide-reaching differences, my goal for this quick tip is to cover the most common questions and scenarios. So let's begin with the best way I've heard them explained, thanks to Phil. A body is a container for a continuous 3D shape. So for instance, if I make some simple geometry, I have a body. But then if I go and cut sections out of it, I now have many, many bodies. On the flip side, a component is a container for bodies, sketches, construction objects, decals, and even other components. So at its root, it really has to do with the structure, but it also has to do with how they interact and how they're used. Bodies have relationships with other bodies inside a single component, and components have relationships with other components inside a design. This explains why you can't add a joint to a body. With that in mind, bodies are best used as modeling tools only, and components can be thought of as parts, assemblies, sub-assemblies, and so on. Some other important differences to note, bodies will not show up in your parts list, patterned bodies will act independently from their parent, whereas components have the opposite effect, and finally, bodies and components can be moved to and from different components. I hope this helps highlight some of the major differences, which is a perfect segue into rule number one. This rule is related to something I learned by being involved in the Fusion 360 community, which I'd recommend everyone spend a little time on and hopefully contribute. Anyway, what I was taught from users was that they found themselves in trouble when they built their models up from the top level, then converting the resulting bodies into components at the end. Instead, they'd recommend always, 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 before doing anything, start a new component and activate it. This will ensure the appropriate structure is maintained, and that should help when or if you need to reuse components in another design. Rule number two is to always name your components, which was made easier with the July 27th update that ensures bodies converted into components keep their given names. We're still looking for a rule number three, so make sure you're a part of the community and add to that discussion. Many thanks to everyone in our community for your help. Cheers.